Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. So got a question on, can you please comment on the recent Michael Rogers testing positive for clenbuterol? Clenbuterol is basically an asthma medication. It's banned in a few countries because some people have allergies to it. It's essentially the same as salbutamol, albutamol, ventolin. So you see those little puffers kids take at school? I lived on that stuff for a fucking long time as a kid. Running around the sports day, oh, I've got a tight chest. Doctor, boom, ventolin. So you're essentially taking the same thing as clenbuterol. Ask medication. How does it work? Acts as a vasodilator, opens up your veins, your arteries. You can breathe a lot better. You burn more fat because it breaks down the fatty acids better. So people say, Clint Beauty Holly, I don't know why cycles will take it, doesn't work. It fucking works. It works. It's a powerful stimulant. It fucking works. Keeps you leaner, lets you breathe easier. So cycling's all about oxygen. Michael Rogers' claim is he ingested it from eating some bad pig meat in Thailand. Uh China, Beijing. Because it's used over there to decrease the fat content of the animals, increase the muscle content, which is a legit thing. But in Mexico they had recently in 2011, about 100 players tested positive for clenbuterol at a, a FIFA Junior World Cup thing. That'll meet there. In Mexico, they use it as well. Actually, in Mexico, you can buy it over the counter as, as medication. So all the kids playing soccer in school, they can use clenbuterol legally, no worries. But if you get tested for it, then we problem. Unless you have a script from your doctor. So there's no way Michael Rogers could get a script from his doctor because clenbuterol is banned in, in uh, Switzerland where he has his racing license. But if he was from Mexico, he would be okay, most possibly. But then again, it is banned, so it's a, it's a bit of a gray area. But things like testosterone, thyroid medications, um, asthma puffers, salbutamol, that, that's all legal as long as you have from your team doctor or your local doctor a therapeutic use exemption form, a TUE form, you can use those things legally. So you can be jacked on testosterone, jacked on ventolin, jacked on thyroid medication. People go, what do people take thyroid medication? Thyroid medication just leans you the fuck out and keeps you energized, but long term can really fuck you up because you have to be on it for life sometimes. That's why you see a lot of people, so you notice how thick my hair is? You know what I mean? You don't see many cyclists with this sort of thick hair, do you? <laughs> I'm 36. You don't see many guys on YouTube doing bodybuilding channels with this sort of thick hair, do you? You know what I mean? Why is that? Why do most of the guys on YouTube wear hats and shit? Bodybuilding channels where they've got really short hair. Show right back. Why is that? Because <laughs> what's happening is the AAS things that a lot of guys are using makes your hair fall out. So it keeps you lean. It keeps you lean. It was a good bit of a... Ah, oh, fuck, that hurt my knee. That's out of, out of competition there. So you can keep lean without doing these clean beauty oil and stuff. You can see I have very low body fat. You can see the tendons there, little brachial tendon there. You know what I mean? So if I was in the muscle bo bodybuilding, <clears throat> I'd be cut to fuck without drugs. So my tip would be, don't use the asthma medications. Yes, they're legal. Kids use them at school and sports day, but pro athletes like Michael Rogers get banned if they get busted. So it's a bit hypocritical, but my tip, if you want to burn fat, high carb, low fat vegan diet, get to bed early, and stimulants, they work, but you have to take them for the rest of your life. But you can eat a healthy, clean, lean diet and stay lean, like doing it freely the rest of your life. So that's my little take on it. Um, Rogers's claim is plausible. It's definitely legit. It's used in the animal livestock. It gets transferred in human blood. That's legit. Um, but unfortunately, he's going to get slammed for it. <laughs> he's going to get slammed for it, which is pretty fucking hypocritical. You got Mexican school kids taking this drug just to ride to school or something. Like if you're a Mexican kid and you have like a tight chest and you tell your doctor, he's like, here's some clenbuterol. <laughs> Isn't that the same stuff Michael Rogers got banned for? Yeah, that's all right, but it's legal here. So what's legal in one country can make you fucked if you're a pro athlete in another. Bottom line, if you want to be a big name in pro sport, basketball, swimming, cycling, running, whatever, you got to use a lot of good pharmaceuticals. That's just the bottom line. 
So there's no cheats. There's just people who get caught, that's all. Everyone's on the same page, on the same paragraph, same sentences when you're at the top. If you don't dope, you won't cope. If you don't tank it, you won't make it. Carb the fuck up. Post your comments and questions down below. See you next video. Done.